can. Anna, let's go. We will be late. Get it in gear. I'll be ready in five minutes. Storm? Ha! Can you not sneak up on me like that? Anna, why are you wearing a jacket? Uh, um, nothing? I just found it? Uh-huh. You got it from Harris, didn't ya? Ooh, sounds juicy. What happened? <sighs> it's Harris's jacket. He gave it to me when I was upset after Jason insulted me. What? When did he give you the jacket? Yeah, why did he give it to you knowing you go to a different school? If you're seen with that jacket at Hillcrest, you're gonna be made fun of or something. Last night, when I went over to his dorm room, we just talked. But it was nice, you know? Maybe, but I'll deal with it. I'm in college now. I can handle some jabs. It's not fine. Storm, it's okay. Like I said, I'll handle it. You're getting the wrong kind of attention with that jacket on. It's just a few. Ignore them. Yeah, this isn't bad. Why does he look like that? Don't know, but be nice. Good morning, students. Welcome to Hillcrest. I'm Professor Volt. Now... I'm sure all of you were the smartest kid in your town. However, here at the college level, we expect you to have acquired the basics of school, study, memorization, and most importantly, an understanding of the subject material. If you cannot handle those bare minimum requirements, do not expect any leeway from myself. <coughs> Now, let us talk about this school year. Each period of the school year is six weeks long, and within each week, there's a competition against our sister schools. Your actions within those competitions will earn points towards our school. By the end of every two weeks, the winner with the most points wins. At the end of the following two weeks, there will be a champion's game. Oh, and a reminder. Do not go on other school grounds, or else. Um, Professor, why is that? Why are you not allowed on other school grounds? Yes, I am new to the area. So curious about that. Is it a old tradition or something? Well, you see, since you're enrolled in Hillcrest, you belong here. Nowhere else. These are private schools. If you step on other school grounds, it messes up our magnetic field, along with our portal's lock on the current time continuum. What? Do I need to keep going? No, please do. Well, since you asked, we're all locked in a loop of time, with only myself and a few others aware of it, and are using our knowledge to build a way out of the loop in order to take over the world using the power we gather from the infinite loops. My plans for world domination are nearly complete. <laughs> It's just a way to punish students who decide to break into the other school's equipment lockers or sabotage their fields. There have been past incidents like that, so the school has made a punishment for being caught on other school grounds. Now, on to today's lesson. Hey. What do you want? You're not allowed to be on Trivium grounds. <laughs> Doesn't look like I care. Look, let's make this short and easy. You tell me where Anna is, 
and I let you be. Simple. Dude, look. Just because you got a boner from a girl stepping on your pride doesn't mean I'm gonna set you two up. Jason, what the heck? You better tell me where Anna is, or I'm gonna break your legs. Your chances at being scouted will be wrecked. <laughs> Even with broken legs, the scouts will like me more than your squid kicking ass. Teachers are coming. Jason, we've got to go. Not till I'm done with him. So what is it gonna be, Harris? Are you gonna tell me where she is or not? Your mother's house. Jason, let go of him. Jason, let's check Hillcrest. It's the last school we didn't check. Perfect. We will continue this. After I take care of your girl, you better watch your back. <coughs> uh, you touch her, I'll bury you. Doubt it. Hey, you good? No, I just got strangled. So, I just witnessed you being assaulted on school grounds by another student? You wanna press charges against him? No, aren't you only a teacher? I'll deal with him myself. Hey, it gives me less paperwork for me, okay? Harris, who is Anna? Hello? Harris? Hmm? Oh, she's a girl I bumped into, literally. I accidentally knocked her down and we kind of clicked, you know? Went all cavemen on her, huh? She got any hot friends? <laughs> None that would go out with your ugly ass. <laughs> yeah, screw you two. So... You like her enough to get strangled by that halfwit? Oh, hell yes. And if he does touch her, I'm not calling the cops. He definitely deserve it. Thanks. Aw, oh, crap. Brooke, I'll talk to you later. Jason is gonna get Anna kicked out of college and I can't let that happen. What? Okay, okay. Let's go. What are friends for? Anna, you've got to stop going on to the other school grounds. You know that's a good way to get thrown out. And then it's just going to be the two of us. And that's not what we all wanted, remember? I know, but I don't want Harris hurt by Jason either. And he's clearly got issues. I'm worried he's gonna do something drastic. I get that, but there are other ways to deal with it. If you want to talk to Harris, use your phone or ask him to meet you off school grounds. Oh, yeah, that can work. Alright, she's supposed to be in here? We aren't even supposed to be here. We need to find her. She doesn't belong here. You know that. If you get caught, you won't be able to compete in the games. Then we'll just not have to get caught. Jason! Wow, the universe was just waiting for you to say that, wasn't it? Shut up, what do you- Get out! Oh god. I'm gonna make you eat your teeth for that, Harris. Not if I make you eat yours first. What's going on? Jason, get off Hillcrest and go back to Phelps. You hurt Anna. So what if I hurt her? What did you do to her? Wouldn't you like to know? Harris, Guys, chill out, guys. Stop fighting. This is not a good way this to bring up the anything. both of you right now. Then both of you, my office, now. You lot as well, my office on the double. <laughs> <laughs> 